Ashhadu Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah Allah illallah Wahdahu Wahdahu La sharika lahu La sharika lahu Ashhadu Ashhadu Anna Muhammadan Anna Muhammadan Abduhu Abduhu Wa rasuluhu Wa rasuluhu The sixth condition of bed was one that I found really interesting and actually quite challenging when I first read it, coming as a newcomer to, to Ahmadiyyat. The sixth condition instructs us to avoid all un-Islamic practices and to follow the words of Allah in the, in the Holy Quran and also the word of the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him. The reason that I found it quite interesting was as a newcomer to the Damat, then I didn't know what was Islamic and which were cultural practices, but it was really important for me to understand what I should and shouldn't be doing. And also I thought it was quite an interesting journey for other people because often if you're brought up in a, in a faith, your practices are just inherent within you and often maybe you don't question those. So it was, it was a joint journey for, for both parties. Um, I think it benefited both sides because um, although it was very new to me, it was also quite a new experience for those that had been brought up within Ahmadiyyat to question what they were doing and to analyse whether they were actually cultural practices or Islamic practices. Um, so it was actually, it was very interesting. The reason that I found the condition slightly challenging was because it was a completely new and foreign concept to me to get guidance about the decision that I should or shouldn't make from the word either of Allah or from the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him. Normally, I, coming from the background that I did, then my decisions were made based on my upbringing and my, my moral instructions that I'd received from my parents. So, um, at first it seemed quite alien but in actual fact, the more that I developed that understanding, then the more blessing that I got from that and also the easier that life became. If you um, have any kind of difficulty, then you've got a reference point for every kind of eventuality. And that's what I found really very beautiful about this instruction and something that um, is a lifelong experience. And so it was actually quite a revelation to me um, to find that your journey can be a lot easier if you adhere to the sixth condition of Bayat. So understandably with any religion or um, cultural practice that has evolved through as many years as Islam has there are bound to be um, either cultural influences or societal influences that come into everyday practice. If we adhere to the sixth condition of Bayat, then we really are very um, fortunate and blessed that we can practice Islam in its purest form and therefore really get back to the original teachings of the Quran and the word of Allah and so makes it a very much easier passage for us through life.